at the first meeting of the year for Harris County Commissioner's Court. Uh, the court will be voting on a contractor safety record policy for county construction projects. More than 5,000 working people are killed on the job every year in the U.S., and nearly 3 million suffer from serious injury or illness. This takes an enormous physical toll uh, and emotional toll on workers, their families, but more importantly to all the people here, their communities. This has been a long time coming, but building on those pro-worker policies that passed in 2019, uh, Harvard Disaster Recovery Projects under the Opportunity Builds Harris program is extremely important to expand worker protections. It's personal to me, I have a brother who's five years older who lost his leg uh, working for a subcontractor to a governmental entity. Even if there are those who would say that these protections will cost us some money on the front end, they'll save us money on the back end for people like my older brother. Harris County has a stake in making sure working people have access to jobs that provide a safe workplace, good benefits, strong wages, and opportunity to build a better future for their lives and families. Today, thank you to my colleague, Commissioner Ellis, for championing workers' rights for decades. Thank you to our county attorney, Christian Menefee, and all of his team who have worked tirelessly for years. Thank you, Neil, for everything you and your team have done to make this happen. I come from a working family, and to be able to champion working families here in Harris County is something I am deeply committed to. And it's only possible because we elected leaders on the court who understand the needs of working people a majority that has taken real steps to end the safety crisis on Harris County construction sites and put the interest of workers first. Safety training begins in the classroom and continues on the job. As an apprentice, I learned from instructors how to work safely and then take what I learned and apply that on the job site. Part of that training was a required OSHA 10 safety training for workers and OSHA 30 for safety training supervisors. These are critical to keeping workers safe on the job. We have a high death rate in our in our area here. Um, so much it's about 100 a hundred a year. It's about three a week. And folks get up and go to work and they don't know if they're going to come back home. Current systems uh, and policies, lack of opportunities, uh, forced me to leave my country at the age of 19. I work many jobs to make ends meet. I, from a uh, hospital housekeeper to manufacturing and everything in between until I found my way to construction. I became an industrial painter myself for two years and through those two years in the field I witnessed and experienced several safety violations including working without OSHA training and lack of basic personal uh, protective equipment. Harris County has a responsibility to help strengthen and protect our workforce. That's what this policy does. 